We're here to be here for a long time. An important part of being sustainable in the long term is to look after the land. We've been heavily involved with the Saving Our Species program uh, at our Euston Vineyard uh, in relation to the Regent Parrot. On a national level, the Regent Parrot is listed as vulnerable under the EPBC Act and in New South Wales they're listed as endangered and this is just an indication of, of how threatened uh, these species are in the landscape. Historically, uh, some of their main threats have been clearing of mallee vegetation and also degrading of these remaining patches through overgrazing. Regent parrots have lost those important linkages between their roost sites uh, in the mallee away from the river uh, where they sleep at night and the river corridor where they breed. They use these corridors for protection against predators and they're really important in the landscape but they're becoming uh, less common. Each year we've been looking to revegetate certain parts of our property in strategic locations to um, add further uh, not only foraging habitat for the Regent Parrot but also um, flyways so they can pass through to other uh, woodland areas to, to forage and find their food sources. Local land services have been the, the driving force behind the, the Saving Our Species rollout in the area. So local land services provide us the support uh, and funding also um, to, to make these things happen. A lot of the time it's, it's the ducks and staff that will do the on the ground work. It really is a joint effort from both parties to make it all happen. Because we have a really strong focus on working with land managers and landholders, we're really well placed to sort of work in that partnership space. So an example is uh, a program like Saving Our Species that exists in one world that might never cross over into a world like Buxton's Vineyards. Um, but we're in a place to sort of identify and bring those two partners together and, and work to create you know, dual outcomes for, for both parties. Duxton is a very uh, progressive asset management business um, with a huge focus on sustainability. So that's why Duxton being a, a corporate company and wanting to be a responsible corporate citizen looks at these sort of opportunities as uh, a huge benefit to be in harmony or a positive relationship with the land. It has changed the way that the staff on the ground think about um, the parrot in particular but also the environment. It changes perception and, and drives um, care factor. Living here on site, we've got, we're have got surrounded by over 900 hectares of vines and you've got all the bird life, you've got the wildlife. It's quite nice when you go around and you see all these beautiful coloured birds flying around and it's been yeah, really good to be part of. It's just such a good culture that yeah, it's not just about the grapes, it's about every other thing that happens. It makes you feel really happy to see the farms planting these trees and just embracing the environment and trying to farm with nature, not against it. So all this land is being managed by someone in some way. So we can only improve the natural resource management outcomes if we have partnerships with those actual land managers. So it's critical that we form good relationships and try to work towards you know, both of us achieving the outcomes that are you know, beneficial and highly desired. This project in particular is a prime example that um, large corporate agricultural businesses and the environment and um, government agencies don't need to be at odds. They can work in partnership to see uh, positive outcomes for both parties. We get um, marketing benefits, uh, on-site visual benefits and biodiversity benefits and uh, then also local land services can deliver on um, the outcomes of a program like Saving Our Species. I think that it's important that all agricultural um, businesses look at this as a, as a great thing to do in the future.